My name is J.S. Williams Jr. And so, in light of all the things that are going on in the world right now today, especially in sexual harassment shit after sexual harassment shit after sexual harassment shit, as an independent filmmaker and a human being, I understand what is going on in the world. I'm 44 years old, so I'm not fucking stupid. Alright? Now I'm going to piss you all off. Alright? So, here we go. Social network and Facebook. So I have a chicken messenger who has said some very insulting things to me. And, you know, they're not sexual harassment, you know, but it does have something to do with this topic. Because you women, and I'm specifically talking about specific groups that I'm in on social network, if you're posting beautiful, half naked, sexy pictures about yourself and people like me are paying you comments about how good you look and our fantasies with you and yeah they may be borderline sexual harassment if you don't want those comments on your photos then you probably shouldn't fucking post them there if i could walk around and post my ass naked on facebook and not have my whole damn channel shot down or put in facebook fucking jail hell yeah i'd do it I'm 44. You either got, somebody's going to see my black ass naked eventually. You know, Playgirl Magazine, if you're still hollering male models, I need a job. Anyway, if if you're posting, you know, all right, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Let's, let's keep it real because that's what I do. I'm not very built, so forgive me. I'm not flat anymore. I'm kind of fat. See if I... Stick it out, you know, you can see that the abs are at work, but if I'm taking hot shots, you know, I'm looking all sexy, and women are going, for me, they'll be like, hey buddy, put the bird back in the cage. Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to feel insulted, because it's true, I could use a bit of the gym, especially in the ab department now, due to the fact that I'm not allowed to do Russian twisters or certain types of crunches due to my hip replacement and my need for another hip replacement and I've been taking preventive measures from the military so that I don't fucking have to get the surgery sooner than later so that I can actually go back to school and finish school and get a degree and get a decent damn career going. Okay, got that out of the way in one breath. If girls decided I'm sexy and they, they're like, that shit's gonna happen. If they decide that I'm sexy and they're like, yeah, James, post more pictures, you know, you're badass. We like your body. We're cool. A little nipplage. You know, I'm going to be flattered because my body totally sucks to me. You know, and I'm doing my best to work out. I just haven't had time to really hit, like, exercising like I would like to do. I used to be cut. I used to be a great-looking man body-wise. Not up here, just right here. <laughs> you know, but, you know, if you're going to post pictures where you're posing sexy and looking sexy and making videos of bodily gyrations and things, you know, I don't have any hips, so I can't really do like I want to do, you know, I can't do the dancing thing, you know. If you're going to make videos and pictures and shit like that, and somebody comes up and says they want to have improper relations with you or do things that are morally wrong with you in the bed or they're morally right, depending on how you want to look at the situation, and you don't like these comments, well... Let me be an asshole for a minute. Might help if you stop posting pictures and shit like that. And if you don't like the fact that I'm making a video about this, I'm giving you the 1,000. No one's ever going to compliment me on how pretty I am. Because I am not a pretty man. I'm probably the ugliest man on Facebook. And that's fine. I accept that. But here's the thing. If you're going to call me ugly, don't be mad if I call you ugly back. The difference is I'm ugly and I know it. So I don't really let that shit bother me because I've been told I've been ugly by hot chicks all my life. So what's one more person calling me ugly? Hey, fuck it. There's like 4,000 women on this planet and someone will see that I'm not as ugly as other people. But I've been uglier because I've had my face completely disfigured or as disfigured as much as one would rather it not be when I burnt off my face. So when you call me ugly, I accept that shit because I was once worser than I am right now. You don't appreciate what you have until it is taken from you.
when I burnt off my face, I learned real quick that as ugly as I was, I could be worse. So I accept my ugliness and I'm grateful because I have my face back. I have scars on my arm and my shoulder from the incident that burnt off my face with my overflow pan. But if you're going to post comments or if you're going to post pictures because you chose to wear a slim bikini and you have mad cleavage showing or you're in your underwear and you're cross legged I can look at this and you're not adult enough to handle the post, then you probably should not post the picture in the first place to not get the cat calls and the comments of how we want to enjoy your vagina sandwiches and all the other stuff that you have to offer. Now, if this is insulting, if this has pissed you off because you're a female, I'm sorry. But look at it honestly. If you post a sexy picture, you're going to get a sexy comment. And it's not sexual harassment. It's just that you post the picture. None of us can see it if you don't post it. So before you holler and scream about sexual harassment, especially in today's world where sexual harassment is just destroying people left and right, you have to look at both sides of that coin. If you don't want men saying sexual derogative things about you, then you don't post sexual pictures. If you don't mind sexual comments, hey, keep posting them and I'll keep throwing them to you. Because I'm not a liar. And most girls that post these sexy pictures, they are very beautiful. And they want us to tell them how beautiful they are. And women are beautiful and deserve to be told that they're beautiful. However, there is that thin line. We try not to cross it. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Come For Everything Number 2. This is my last video for the night. Happy in seven day. And post more beautiful pictures. But if you can't handle the beautiful comments about your beautiful body and your sexiness, then don't post the pictures. You understand where I'm coming from? I'm James Williams Jr. This is Come For Everything Number 2. Be seeing you.